Hey everyone, uh, today I wanted to show you how to make some joints out of cardboard. So this is an arm I'm currently working on, and as you can see it has some joints in it, uh, two of them right now. Uh, so before we get started, I'm just going to show you the basics of how they work. So in each joint I have um, this little metal axle, which is actually a piece of a paper clip, and that connects the arm together. So there's these two interlocking pieces. Um, which when put together they can rotate um, about the axis. So now I'm going to show you the inside of one of the arm segments. So as you can see here I sandwiched together four pieces of cardboard. So there's these two hinge pieces and then there's spacers in between them. Um, and the reason I did that is because when you layer um, the connectors together it makes a stronger connection it's harder for it to move side to side where you don't want it to move and it also provides more friction because each of the plates is going to rub against each other when it rotates um, so if you want like something that's poseable and it will keep its position it works pretty well before we start building here's some materials you will need cardboard a pair of scissors an exacto knife some glue a pen, a ruler, a sewing needle, and a paper clip. The first step is to trace out the outline. Um, we're going to need four connector pieces and four spacers for one complete hinge. Here is a diagram of one of the connector pieces, and here is one of the um, cutout pieces. So the dimensions are fairly straightforward. Um, it's half an inch by one inch long, and everything else is just cut in half. So this is half inch, this is quarter inch. And then at the top, there's going to be a semicircle like bevel. Um, and I haven't cut that out yet on here, but you can see it on the finished pieces. And then right here, centered on the top half of it, um, is where you should put the hole in. I would recommend cutting out the connector pieces using an X-Acto knife and just getting the rectangular shape out and not worrying about the edges until afterwards. Um, using an X-Acto knife, make sure that you don't pinch the edges and it remains pretty strong. This was a problem I had in the earlier design, where as you can see, the whole hinge sort of got compressed and that's not really great for strength. It can wobble pretty far back and forth. Um, on my newer arm, where I cut it with an X-Acto knife, it's a lot stronger and doesn't wobble as far. Um, so once you've cut this out and you're ready, I would then use scissors to trim um, around the edges to get that circular look. So something like this. Finally, uh, the hole should be jeweled in the center. So I'm using a sewing needle. Um, I just poke it directly in the center and then sort of twist it and hold the sides till it comes through like this. Um, but this hole isn't going to be wide enough to fit a paper clip, so you can sort of wiggle the needle around and make the hole a little bit bigger. It might take a few tries and you should um, do it from both sides so you get an even hole. And uh, once the hole is fairly big, you can try putting a, a piece of paper clip in it. And if it doesn't quite get out the other side, just sort of twist it and push lightly until it goes through. So now this piece is ready, you just need three more of these. Next you're going to want to cut out the spacers. These are pretty straightforward, they're just little squares of cardboard, 0.5 by 0.5 inches. Here's one I cut out. Once you've finished making all the connectors and spacers, the next step is to glue them all together. Here are my finished pieces. So this is ultimately going to become two different joints. Um, but I would recommend starting with just connecting um, each spacer to one connector like this. So get your glue. And I'll just put a tiny dot of glue on there maybe even less than that, so that it doesn't spill out the sides. So 
So just set it like this and uh, wait till it's dry. Once you've glued all the little pieces together, you're going to want to glue these into the complete hinges. So just the same thing as before, put a little dot of glue down. And sandwich them like this. After the glue's done drying, we can assemble the final hinge. So by now you should have these two pieces completed. And to fit them together, you want to rotate one of them 180 degrees. So that way when they connect, um, it's going to be flush on both sides. So you can try and fit the paper clip through at this point, um, but it's probably not going to work unless your holes are perfectly centered. So I like to take the sewing needle again, line them up as best as I can, and just sort of fiddle with it. You might have to move the cardboard around a little bit. Um, until the needle goes all the way through. There we go. So as you can see, the needle is a little off-center. It's angled down this way a little bit. Um, so you can sort of move it around a bit more and open the, um, the circles a little bit. And now you can try and put the paper clip in. Alright, there we go. So that's through and the hinge is working pretty well. And the final step is to um, cut the paper clip so it's flush with the end of the hinge. So you can do this with your fingers, but it's a lot easier to do with a pair of pliers if you have them. So just grab it right at the end, um, pretty much marking it where you want to cut it off, and then pull it out. And then it's pretty easy to break these paper clips. You can just bend them back and forth a few times until they snap. So once you have the axle and the two hinge pieces, um, one trick I like to use to make it easier to line up, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but if you look through here, you can see a tiny point of light where the holes line up. And if you do that on both pieces and slide them together, you can move it around so you see the point of light again, which means all the holes are lining up. So I can see it here, so let me try and put the axle in now. It's almost there, just stuck on the last one. Alright, so there you go. Um, now the hinge is done. In some of my other pieces, I mounted them inside of these cardboard tubes for arms and stuff like that. So that's one thing you can do with them.